Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dan Stone. Thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Kush going for the New Kingdom achievement. In the last episode we had our first war against the Egyptian Kingdom and we successfully took, albeit a tiny bit of land, but a very important um, piece of land, which is part of the province of Aswan. Now, I could have gone on maybe a little bit longer in the war and probably tried to take something else, but I didn't want to risk it. Egypt, albeit, may have had, like, no manpower left, but they still have more men than me, and considering that our manpower was really kind of dwindling pretty quickly due to the fact that our armies have low food, we're very close to being starved, and we'll lose a lot more men, and then our manpower will go down even more, and they'll bring in, albeit, I mean, a lot of men down here. They may not have the manpower, but they still had more total troops than me, and I didn't want to risk kind of losing, so I thought, well, peace out for this. Um, it's more than enough and it was a good opportunistic war it's more land and the good thing is it's also our culture and our religion so we don't have to waste time uh, converting it and um, assimilating it which is great um, anyway um, in this episode what I want to do is definitely try and get our tech cradle because we're down to 58% I need to get some buildings built it's going to be vitally important we need lives we need academies we need all of that stuff um, what I would also like to do, and I'm going to do it now, is I want to move the capital. Why? I want to get into diplo range of some of the big powers and hopefully try and get an alliance with the fridge. That would be really useful. If we could befriend these guys and get an alliance, I would be really happy. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move the capital up here. I feel like that, yeah, I feel, I feel that here it, we might be able to actually entertain an alliance with these guys. Hopefully we can. Let's give it a go. So what I'm going to do is move it here. I could move it further up a bit, I think. But I don't think it's worthy of a capital here. This place is. So let's give it a try. Um, let's relocate capital. Cost us 140 political influence. But I'm quite happy to try it out. So let's do that. So now we have our new capital here. Which is good. Can I interact with the fridge? Damn. They're just outside our range still are they? Oh we're so damn close. No. Look 98. 98 damn bloody diplo range. Um, oh well, it's not all that bad. Uh, what we can do is we could easily try to get the next oratory advance as tech level and then buy the diplo range tech plus 15%. Then we could like interact with them. So we could we could definitely try that. What about Seleucids? Are they quite close or not? Yeah, not too far. If I increase it by 15% with that tech, we could easily interact with the fridge and then we could easily try to get in alliance with them. So it's not all that bad. Uh, but anyway, let's get the game rolling. So boom, right, these mercs now, what we're going to have to do is disband them. But before we do that, uh, petitioner approaches. So a senior citizen by the name of Alak Heshbak and Kashid approached our king in private this morning. You're the consort. She's scared of dying. So either how awful we take good care of her, we gain 49 gold. I can either gain stability and get loyalty with her. Or I can gain more gold because we are cruel and she gets killed. Should I kill the consort? I suppose I could. Yeah, but no, uh, uh, but are we, we are cruel. You know what? We're a cruel man. Bye-bye, woman. <laughs> Sorry, I feel awfully, awfully bad now. Um, so we need a new wife, so we'll definitely try and find a new one. Someone with good finesse stats, hopefully, like you. There, the Attack Keshbak and Arak Manid. There we go. So he's 65-year-old man going for a nice 18-year-old lady. There we go. Uh, what? And they, they won't marry? Okay, he refuses, so I lose political influence. And I can't marry for five years. Okay. Okay, how could you refuse the king? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Um, anyway, let's keep moving. Get rid of these mercs. Pay them. Yeah, we'll pay them. We'll disband them. Our armies, they need to move back down now. So you're going to go down here. You're going to go over here. We'll move. keep them up north. Can I import anything else from anybody here? I don't think so. Leather from Egypt. Yeah, let's do some trade with Egypt for the moment. We might as well get some going for the time being. There's no reason not to. Any vegetables? Yeah, let's get some of that as well. Spices? No, that's from myself. Cloth? Get it from Judea. Why not? Marble? No. Get some more leather. Yeah, let's get a surplus of leather in there. Why not? It's just all that for the extra gold that the trade route brings. So we'll definitely have that that way. Okay, so now we need to get building some stuff. So once our armies are back in place, what we need to do is build, definitely build some more stuff. We have disloyal character, we know. Our armies lack food, we also know. So you're here, I'm going to put you guys on drilling. You guys can go back there, I will also drill you. Again, that sounds so weird and wrong, but um, oh well. So let's get some buildings going here. So what I want now, we need to definitely get some lives and stuff. So... So, so, so. 
Is there anything for build reduction here? Anything we can get? Get the national slave output. I'm very tempted to get that, actually. Cost 99 gold, though. How much do I make? 5.34. Yeah, not yet. I'm not going to really get that just yet. What I am going to get, though, is the national citizen output here first. Plus 12%. That should help us get a little bit more tech up. I mean, should get that efficiency up a little bit better. Because we need to really get to that next oratory level. The next thing I'm going to do here now is you for a force march drill. And we're going to get building some stuff here. Let's have a look at the pop ratios. We're going to need... Lib, Academy, and Academy. Yeah, we'll get Lib, Lib, Academy. That's fine. And uh, also need to go for one down here as well. Let's get them in these places as well. Uh, I think we're pulling pops in as well all over the place, which is pretty good. We're pulling in some pops, which means the cities are filling up, and we should increase our tech rate by doing it this way as well. I could do with an aqueduct. We're already building one. I think I built that off camera. I can't remember. But I want an Academy and a Lib. Thank you. All this is needed. Over here, we're going to want one as well, maybe. Am I? Probably. I'm going to go for an academy. And let's go down here. We'll go to this place. And here, we're going to need it as well. Let's go for... Let's go for academy. And that will do for the moment. Maybe a live as well. Maybe next month, we can go for a live. Or the month after. We'll see. But we're going to be spending a lot of the cash on building up our infrastructure and getting our tech rate up to get ready to go to war with Egypt again. Hopefully we can get an alliance going with the fridge before that happens. So what we need to really do is get this extra level of orchard tech. 483, so we've got like over 10 years, so 12 years. Hopefully we can reduce that within due course though by getting that research efficiency up. We can actually reduce the time it takes to get that tech. We're getting a fort there as well. We need to really defend that. Yeah, this is all good. This is all, all very, very good. I could probably change the centralizing pop thing afterwards, to be honest. Are we pulling in many more pops? Yeah, I'm still pulling in quite a few. So we'll wait a little bit longer, actually, to fill up these cities. The more we fill them up, the better it will be. Because that means the more pops we can promote into citizens, and it would only be good stuff. And what about down here? Oh god, here we need an aqueduct. Desperately. Desperately need an aqueduct. What about over here? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we need we need, really need more citizens. The March of Time. So age finds us all in the end. Even the priest and surgeons shake their heads when confronted with the inevitable decline of the human body. So I'll lead against dementia. That's not cool. So it looks like he's like, on his way off now. Uh, what's this? Yeah, our research efficiency is pretty bad. It will, we, we, we will be getting it up, though. Uh, four smiles. So Altamasa to... To, to Ritnid, one of our most decorated generals, has submitted a dangerous proposal to the court. His good friend Apesilica has been pinning after a career in politics, and Altanasa has demanded that we uh, that we accede to his demands to make this a reality. This general is really annoying. I'll be happy when he dies. He is quite old. Hopefully, he'll die pretty soon. I'm going to lose some stability here, but we gain loyalty with the guy. The Master of the Guard changes. Oh, for God's sake, he's crap as well. Who is the current Master of the Guard? Uh, I'm going to have to make it so. I'm going to have to make it so. I gained political influence for it, so it's not all bad, but we really need to get rid of that general at some point. I mean, really, really need to get rid of the guy. Uh, we gain 106 manpower each month. It's not a lot. Yeah, hopefully, um, Egypt won't try to kill us before we are ready. But even though we have a truce with them, I don't know when the truce will last. A little bit of time. Not too long, actually. Five, seven, three, two years. It's not a lot. Um, Takif. They want grain from Aswan. No problem. I'll happily trade grain with you, my friend. I'll more than happily give that to you. What about over here? No, that's fine. Here, I need... and We're getting an aqueduct already. Get another live. We need to fill up our buildings. We need to fill out the cities with lives here, definitely. And then we'll probably change the policy to social mobility to promote them all really quick. So that's the plan, people. That's the plan. Hopefully it'll work. It's what we need to really do, anyway. Axum here. The good job they still provide us with cash. We could actually, at some point, make these bigger, do, declare no CB wars, but at the moment in time, it's not what we want to do. I don't have any ports, so I can't do any maritime laws. Uh, king Nefakari offers friendship. So he's the king of Axum. He's our client. So yeah, why not? I'll be friends with you. It'll stop you from annoying me. Why not? Why not indeed? 
I need more money though. We need more cash. Um, we desperately need more cash. Right, strengthen Moreau. What's this? There needs to be a city down here. Where is Moreau? It is a city, and I need two court of law buildings. Okay, wow. Look at these missions. Quite a few to do. Can I actually do... Well, I could, but I don't have the priority for that at the moment. The priority is the tech rate here. It's what we desperately need. I need to get up to the... Or I need to go up in oratory level. Desperately. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go for... Another live here. Yeah, let's live up. Let's live the max out the place. It's got to be done for the same... For the other locations as well. We've got to live up. I mean, I could change maybe the um, active policy. Do I need to bring in any more pops to the cities? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think I do, to be honest. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this. Now, I'm going to go for acquisition of wealth, I think. Yeah, let's increase the tax. Or no, let's, or do I want social mobility? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to wait a little bit longer. We'll get a few more of these pops in. We'll wait till 575. I'll wait three years. And then after three years, we will change the policies. And I'll put social mobility. That could work then. Oh, that's for harvest. This is great. Thank God. 128 gold. I'll definitely have that. That's not a problem. And what I'm going to do is we are going to spend this on more buildings. Can I, shall I get them over here? Don't need it there. I mean, how fast are the pops moving in here? Not a lot of migration, so I don't need to develop that just yet. We'll keep going down here. Develop these areas. So I want live and an academy. Definitely. We'll go here as well, and we'll go for same principle. We'll go live, and I'll go for an academy after. A disagreement on the highest level. So our Yamani uh, Meroid, uh, or Meroid, um, has, uh, is a man of sound reputation and Antsi Arakamanid, a nobleman of great virtue, has recently started to spar furiously while attending the court. Who do I side with? Who are you? You're the Chancellor and that's my son. So my son is very loyal. So let's get the loyalty. Yeah, you know what? Let's side with our son. I'll sooner side with the son. We might as well. We might as well side with the boy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We need more tech. Tech, 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 tech. Right, up to 69%. From 60 to 69%. Come on. We can increase it a lot more. Um, I am forting this place up, by the way. I'm going to put level 3 forts in there just to protect us. It's going to be highly important to do that. To stop him from moving down. Is there any more forts over here that I don't need? Yeah, I don't really need the fort here, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that fort. I don't really need it. It will save us some money. However, I am going to keep this fort here. Or am I? Yeah, I'm going to keep it there. I might as well keep it. I think it stops some movement. It does. We'll keep that. That's going to be useful. You never know. But that one down there was definitely not needed. It will save us a little bit of cash. Not much, but every little helps. Let's go for an academy here. We'll do that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, what else do I need? I'm probably going to change this now, and I'm going to go on social mobility here. We'll get ready. I don't have much more room for pops here, so I'm just going to social mobility the place. We're getting a couple of lives, so the rate of um, the optimal rate of citizens will be increased. So then the promotion, the pop promotion, governor policy, will get them promoted to citizens a lot quicker. What about down here? Um, we'll check that out in a minute. I've got a lot of pops. Is there any more coming in? There's quite only a few. There's not much actually. Again, I'll wait till 575 till I actually change the policy. Uh, the Faith of Turitnide. Lose 18 gold and gain 6 stability. No, I can't afford to lose the gold. I don't have the gold to actually lose that at the moment, so... Wow, we have a lot of, um, a lot of pops here. Here I can change the policy, though. And I am going to. I think we are going to change the policy here. Um... Here, I am going to go on to, again, social mobility. Now, I am going to be building some, um, maybe get three more lives here, just to increase the amount of citizens we could get in the city. So, as soon as I can do that, we'll do that again. How much is it going to cost? 39. Not that bad, actually. 
Uh, abundant produce. The provincial officials of Alano report that the district has seen an unprecedented harvest this year, with great jubilations for ISIS being held in settlements large and small. These extra unexpected revenues could help boast all the food reserves in the province, but then again, such a gift from the gods is surely intended to benefit the entire Cushion people. Yeah, I'm going to go for the gold here. The province will lose a bit of loyalty, but I'm not bothered. At least we get a bit of cash, which then would enable me to go for a live here and very close next month build another one. Yep, I'm happy with that. That's good. That's good, that's good. Um, how are the pops moving in here, by the way? Mm, it's not many of them. I suppose I could change the policy at some point, but I need to get the libraries built there first. Academy's been built there. That's good. We're up to 74% now. Okay, we're, we're rising. We're rising. The policy is actually working at the moment. Egypt to at war again. Wow. Could we take them out again? They have no men. I suppose we could. And I have the claim on this. Ah, oh, this is the question. Do I go for another low blow? I could, you know. I could go for another low blow. What's their tech rate? Three in each tech level, which is a bit of annoying. But it's only one extra than me. It's not really that bad. Um, do I go for this? Now, how much men do my client have? 8,000 men. Blemia has 4,000. I am incredibly tempted to do this. Um, can I get my war exhaustion down a little bit? Let's invoke Devotio. Twice. I'll happily gain a bit of tyranny. Okay, so that should reduce the war exhaustion a bit. Um, I am really tempted to do this. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I think uh, we can do this. I may not have a lot of manpower, but even though I'm fairly confident that we could do something here. What plummets do I want to take this very quickly? We could just eat them up. Good job I checked. The war against everybody again. Yeah, we've got to do it. I've got to try. We've got to try. Oh, Blemia won't join? They're not allies? Oh, they've got a truce with them, have they? I'm going to wait till the 28th of December. I'll wait a month, and then what we'll do, we'll strike. The fridge want... What do they want? Marble. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to wait a month, then we'll strike. This is the time. We've got to go. We've got to do this. They've got no manpower. They've got no gold. They've got no nothing. They're pretty much down in the dumps. Yeah, we need to do this. Okay, the truce is over, so the other guys will join. I oh, know they joined Egypt. Are you kidding me? Blemia. Since when did you ally yourself with Egypt? You annoying fools. That's a pain. That's a real big pain. Can I ally anybody else? I can go with Lehan. Yeah, let's... Um, can I, let's improve the relation with these guys quickly. I want to get an alliance with Lehan instead. They don't have a truce with Egypt, do they? They don't have a truce with Egypt. We could probably get these guys in. Negative four reasons. I don't want to get these guys in, though. I mean, Blemia I could take, to be honest. I think Blemia we could take. Ah, uh, this is the question, people. This is the question. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. And I am going to do it. Uh, they'll bring in Blemia and Tamud and... But, oh God, I'm... I'm going to try it. We've got to try it. I would. I feel really bad if I didn't. So let's take Aswan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm no longer importing stuff. I know, um, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's strike. We strike now while the iron is hot, as they say. We strike now while the iron is hot. We've got food. Our armies can withstand a little bit of ashing. I'm confident we can do something. Force march you guys anyway, just to actually increase the speed time at which we can actually do this. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is going to be highly important and highly critical here. Just need to take this, take the advantage here, and strike. It's the right time. Blemia have joined. 
Tamud have joined, I think. But that's fine. We've got a fort here that's going to piss them off, so... Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What I want to do is a fort over here. There's no fort over this side, which is a shame because it would block them. Come on, where's my client? Is my client moving? He is moving into Blemia, which is good. So our client can take care of Blemia, which is good. That's good, that's good. I'm happy with that. Alright, you need to march here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, my friends. Let's move, let's move. Let's keep it all rolling. Let's keep it going. The time is right to strike. It is now. Just the speed is what we need here. Speed. Speed, speed, speed. If we have speed, then we're good. Yeah, the fridge has got a lot of men over here as well. This Egypt is being just ganged up on. Uh, turbulent priest. So high priest Teritnide Arachamid, uh, Arachamid has made it clear to the priesthood that he could no longer tolerate Actisanis the first Meroid as godless in piety. Okay, so what happens? I lose legitimacy and lose loyalty with him while I lose gold. I'm going to take the legitimacy and loyalty hit with the dude. I can't afford to do anything else. All right, I've taken. That's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Um, what province is this here? Yeah, let's go here. Let's keep it going. What's this? Is that colonizable? It is. <laughs> I've actually killed the pops in there. And here. That's a shame. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. We'll recolonize it later on. Come on, come on, come on. Nine, no, ten. Okay, this is good, this is good. I'm liking it. But at the moment, we're not too shabby. I don't want to go around here, though. That's going to be very important. Try and link up around here. The fort here is nearly built. Where's our client? Our client is taking care of Blemia, which is good. He's on the capital as well. He's got the right thing to do. It's the right thing. I'm proud of you, client state. I'm proud of you. Right, let's keep moving. We need to keep it rolling here. We need to keep everything going and we need to keep it all moving pretty pretty smoothly. Now hopefully go around here and link up with these guys. Come on, come on. Got 12 war score here. We've got the whole province, which is what we needed. Gonna take this one here as well quickly. Right, let's move you here. That's fine. We've got good generals as well. Oh my god. These pops have been killed. So basically we're colonising land. We're making land colonisable. I don't want to do that, to be honest. But there's nothing I can do to stop this. I don't think there's a light. There's no army toggle button to stop killing a pop. But that's a bit of an annoying thing. Right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. 16 now. 16 war score. They're running out of men considerably. Egypt are. Okay, they've got some men here. Can I catch you? I can. What tactic have you got? I don't know if you're going to... You're not going to go with shock. You may go with skirmishing. So I'm going to go with... You know what? I'm going to go with envelopment. I'm going to guess you're going to go for deception. This is a big wild guess. Okay, let's move. I need to get you here quickly as well. What's the tactic? Yes, we got the right tactic. Great. No, I'm going to reinforce these guys anyway, just in case. There we go. We want... We want and are they attacking me now? No, they're not. But we're going to attack them. Um, what's happening here? Why would I lose this fight, apparently? Maybe because he got more morale than me. Damn, maybe I threw myself in a bit too much here. I probably tried to attack him way too quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. That was dangerous on my part. I should have paid more attention and been a little bit more careful. But oh well, it did the desired effect in the end. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. All this is land that we need to conquer. So I've got the province there. What's this province here? This has got to take that capital there. I want this as well, though. So we're going to have to make our way down here quickly. Um, let's go here. You're going to move over to here. And you're going to move over to here. We need to quickly recover our morale. Come on, 27 war score. We can do this. We can do this. I can feel it in my bones, people. Um, anyway, succession crisis. You chose the wrong time to die, my friend. So the king is now dead. The king who led the first successful um, war against Egypt is dead to be replaced by his son, our Yamani, the first Meroid. 8, 5, 2, 10. He's a pretty good leader. Uh, what did he die of? A venal disease. Poor man. But he was a great ruler, a great man, and he successfully 
kind of had a really good first ring. But we have a succession crisis now. So who's raised an army? Sabra Kanli. And he's raised a pretty big one at that. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to keep you for the moment because we're at war and it could be useful. So I need a new orchard researcher. We'll put Derekid Altanasaid. I also need a new steward. I'll put maybe one of the scorned families. Is there anyone that's scorned? Nobody's scorned. Oh, there is. It's this guy. Cash is a pretender. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, gonna have to give him a position. Give one to Cash. And then I'll bribe you quickly. And that gets rid of your scornness. So I'm happy with that. That's good. I'm gonna keep this guy for the moment. Uh, or I could actually encourage some deserters. Yeah, I'm going to encourage some deserters. Um, I'll leave the 19k stack because they're actually going to help us in the war. Which it actually turns out to be quite good, to be honest, having that pretender army rise. Uh, veterans due. So after, you, after wars toll and hardship, it is with hopeful eyes that the veterans of our armies look towards retirement. A life of rural farming with promised farmland often parceled out to the most deserving. Uh, recent circumstances have led to great droves of retiring soldiers clamouring for this quiet life, seeking counsel from their generals and leaders. Oh, I lose my amount of armies. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm going to take the stability. Oh, no, I'm not going to take the stability hit here. I'm going to lose the gold. I've got no choice because I've got extremely low stability. Um, this is not good. It's a little bit of a sticky situation here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to bribe the commanders here. I'll bribe them. At least they gain a bit of loyalty. I'll happily bribe the guys. Right, come on. Let's keep occupying some of this stuff here. I want to take as much as we can occupy here. Go here quickly and then we'll move our way maybe over the other side maybe. I'd like to take this and link all this up. This would be cool. 29 war score. Egypt is still, still fighting the fridge. Which is good. The longer this fight goes on, the better it is for us. Right, let's move you guys down here now. And then I'm probably going to go the other side here maybe. Try and take this as well. Or what about this side? Now maybe not that side. Maybe this up here would be good. Then we need to go back up north. Okay, let's quickly take that and then we'll move up together. Uh, what can I actually piece out for here? Out of curiosity, by the way. I can take that back. I can also take this. I would like this and this with all this. How much would this cost us? We could do this, you know. It is doable. It is definitely doable. So we're going to march up here now. We're going to march over to that provincial capital there and try and take that. Why am I losing money? Of course, I can't... Oh, God, I can't maintain these troops, can I? So I'm going to have to... Um, how am I going to do this? Um, who's the commander? You are... Where's the... Reward veterans... Okay, we're losing money at a pretty alarming rate. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I'm losing four per month. I need to quickly finish this damn war. And I need to quickly get rid of this army here. Let's go for the... Da -da -da, fort defence again. Or maybe not. Let's go for the citizen output. I want more tech. How do I encourage deserters? Oh, I don't need to anymore. I can disband you. Yeah, I'm going to disband you. I can't maintain them. Even though I go into debt here, I'm not overly bothered. Yeah, we'll quickly get rid of you guys. I can't afford to keep that army. It's just going to bog us down. And I don't want it to bog us down. So that's the reason why. Oh, they finished the war? They have finished the war now. So they're probably going to come for us now. So we need to quickly peace out. So I want to take this here quickly. If we can take this, then I'll be happy. We need to do it before they march down here. Oh, he's trying to take that now. But that's going to be too late, mate. We're just going to take this, and then I'm going to probably peace out. Um, desperate measures. Ah, new stability again. God, the stability is really low. It's insanely low, actually. Okay, let's see what I can take here. Might be the time to peace out. I think it is. Um, I might not be able to go for all this, so... Gonna reset the peace deal. 
I want this. Okay, I want that. I also want this, which we can take. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. That is good, and we can do the rest later on. I get 9 in aggressive expansion for it, but I am not bothered at all. Um, I can't take anything else, can I? Oh, I can. I can take that as well. Can I take this? I mean, not all of that, but just like enough. Ah, oh, no, damn. Why did it do that? Let's reset the piece deal. Okay, I want that. I want that. I want that. This. And maybe if I go see territory instead. And what about this? Where's this? This, this, this. It's got to be here somewhere. Morai, no. Where is it? No, where, where is it? It's this. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes, we can take it, which means we can link up, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, this is the best peace deal we're going to get. Let's do this. Yeah, this is ours. Thank you. Oh, and we get to a major power already? Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Um, okay, now this is good because this now allows us to have more import routes. Our integration speed goes up for our clients if, or vassals if we need to integrate them. We can have more diplo diplomatic relations, more m monthly political influences gained, and the best thing here is the diplo range is increased. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Now we should be able to link up with you. The outside of the range, maybe at the end of the month it should be fine. At the end of the month we should be able, when the kind of bonuses are taken into account, we should be able to interact with them. So that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, now what we need to do is pretty much administer all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this army back down here. You are going to go, of course, down here. Now we've got a bit of land. Uh, a bit of land that is not part of our culture group. And all our religion. So what I'm going to... Oh, it is our religion, which is good. So we only have to change the culture, which is actually fantastic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign a governor. The best man for the job. You're pretty good, actually. But what is my researcher like, by the way? I could get rid of you. You're not loyal as well. I'm going to put you instead. You're a way better researcher. Um, let's put down... So I want a Upper Egypt governor. So what I'm going to do is place... You. You get province commerce income. And you're part of a major family. So you're going to like that. And it's put the right policy. That is great. That saves us from actually manually changing it. Same here. It's put the right one. Here's put the right one. Wow. Okay, this guy has pretty much put the right one. Apart from here, where we will change. Actually, I'm probably going to put it on cultural assimilation here as well. I want to change the culture desperately. So now that is done, that is quite good. I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy. And I am going to end the episode here, people. This has been a really good episode. Um, we've considerably expanded, which is cool. We've got some more land. And off camera, I'm going to have a look what we can do with each bit. I'm going to see if we need to move any province capitals or anything like that. And I'll also see um, if we can get any more buildings. Well, we can't actually get any. I have no money, but we'll, I'm just going to take a look around and kind of get my bearings here but um, anyway as per usual thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed the episode please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below and if you want to see more in pro content also consider to subscribe to the channel for more and with that said and done thanks again for being here people and i'll hopefully catch you all in the next one later people